everybody, Adam with the BMW Repair Guide here. Today we are going to use our ISTA Plus diagnostic software to calibrate the flow rate on two new fuel injectors we just installed on a 2011 335i uh, with the N55 twin turbo engine in it. <clears throat> um, we use the ISTA Plus software here at the BMW Repair Guide for some of our more hardcore programming and diagnostic work. We also do use our handheld Foxwell diagnostic, um, which we use just for pulling quick codes, so on and so forth. You can read more about that on our website. We do do a review on the Foxwell. Uh, but for this operation, calibrating fuel injectors, we do use the ISTA Plus. Um, we are going to continue on. Um, under the assumption that you have ISTA software and know how to get to this point. Um, so we are going to start with um, the operations menu and we need to read out the vehicle data. We need a complete identification to continue on with the calibration of the fuel injectors. This is going to take a few minutes. Um, it works a little bit slow but uh, we have to read all of the control manuals uh, modules, excuse me, all the control modules in the car. We need to do a readout on all of them. Um, so we're going to do a um, a, um, a complete uh, uh, search here. Now you can see now the control unit tree is up. Um, it's going to go ahead and read all the control modules. And just so you know, we do have the ignition in the second position to do this. As I said earlier, we do use the ISTA Plus on on uh, and ISTA P on uh, our on our programming and more of our hardcore diagnostics. But the Foxwell handheld uh, is a great affordable unit for pulling um, quick codes, quick fault codes from your car. Uh, we use it actually all the time. It's um, it's just compact and quick. Uh, instead of having to bring our laptop into the car. Um, so we highly recommend you read our, our re review article on our site, www.bmwrepairguide.com. We also encourage you to read our repair article on the uh, N55 engine installing new fuel injectors. We have a uh, very in-depth article on how to re replace your fuel injectors on the N55 engine along with video. Um, so we hope that you'll go to our site and check it out. Okay, at this point we have finished the uh, vehicle information search. Uh, everything is loaded, so our next thing is we're going to go to vehicle management. We're going to go to service functions. We are going to go to powertrain, engine electronics, adjustment functions, we're going to go over to injection quantity compensation. Now here's some very good information on how to read the fuel injectors to get your um, your injection uh, uh, value that we're going to need to uh, calibrate. Um, I will tell you that not all of these um, not all of these values are in the same spot on fuel injectors. This is a this is a nice little article. It gives you a great overview. But um, some injectors have their values in different spots. If you want to read our article on uh, on the repair guide um, on replacing the fuel injectors on the N55, we show you where they were on on our installation. They're a little bit different than what they show in this article. Uh, we'll go ahead and continue on. Continue on again. Now we've popped up the current values that are stored. These are the current calibrated values that are currently stored in the DME for our six cylinders 
uh, the injectors on our six cylinders. We need to change four and five. We just we just installed uh, new injectors in four and five. We actually did the entire bank too. We installed cylinder six yesterday. Uh, we went ahead and calibrated that, so now we have to calibrate four and five. So what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and hit continue. Um, and it's going to ask you, are the adjustment values to be read out from a replaced engine control? No. Continue. Okay, now we're going to want to enter new adjustment values. Continue. Now, we've written these down and also taken photographs. We explain that in our article on our website. Always do both. Do, you know, it's better to have backup. Um, in case you write something down wrong, it's good to have a backup photograph as well. Um, so we'll go ahead and start with cylinder four. And our new value for cylinder four is 290. Now, are there other values to be entered? Yes. We still have to do cylinder five. So we'll do cylinder five now. And the value that we took off of that fuel injector was two, three, four. Hit continue. Are there any other values to be entered? No, we are done. We've just updated cylinder four and cylinder five. So there are, are there any other values be entered? The answer is no. We'll continue. We want to go ahead and save our adjustment values. Continue. It's going to, it's going to ask you one more time. Are these values to be stored permanently? Great time to double check. Cylinder four, 290, check. Cylinder five, 234, check. We're good to go. So we'll go ahead and click yes. Now it wants us to switch off terminal 15 and terminal R. So we go ahead and shut the car down. Hit continue. Once again, double check it and make sure. So we'll go ahead and switch the car back on. Two clicks to terminal 15. That's two clicks on the um, start stop button. And we are good to go. So we'll go ahead and hit stop procedure. And the adaptation values must be deleted following an injector calibration. So we'll go ahead and continue. Continue. Now, we're going to want to go ahead and um, delete adaptations. We need to do this in order to finish the calibration. And we'll go ahead and reset adaptation values and versions. Once again, two clicks off. One, two. The car is now off. We'll hit continue. and. We are resetting everything right now. Seems like a lot of work, but actually, Ista Plus is actually extremely easy once you uh, get acquainted with it. Um, Really, it's just like any other software. The best way to learn it is to use it. All right, we're going to go ahead and switch on terminal 15, which is two clicks on the start stop. Hit continue. Another countdown. All right, and we are all set. We have calibrated our fuel injectors, we have reset our adaptation values, and we can go ahead and safely start the car now. Uh, if you have any questions concerning uh, any of this, please reach out to us. Our um, email address is customer support 
at bmwrepairguide.com. You can go to our website, bmwrepairguide.com. Uh, go to our contact page. You can contact us there as well. We monitor our email constantly. We love to hear from you. We will answer any questions, give you moral support, uh, whatever you need. Um, just reach out to us and, and we'll do our best to help you out. Um, have a great day. Adam with BMW Repair Guide. And congratulations on doing it yourself.